actually. It's, um, it's a very challenging situation. This region here, if you look at it from uh, uh, the Maghreb to the Mashraq, including Iran and Turkey, is very water scarce, you know, with the exception of Turkey. Uh, at the same time, it um, is very much degraded in terms of land because of over irrigation in the past few uh, decades and uh, the groundwater tables are dropping. So domestic production will be a key challenge over the next few years. At the same time, this region is very food uh, import dependent. So uh, the majority of food is imported from uh, North America, from Latin America and also partly from Asia and Europe. So the key issue is how does this uh, region manage to um, do wider economic shifts? For example, is agriculture the solution for the future? Do we not need to look at, for example, ways to get out of the poverty trap in agriculture? And in my view, what is needed is a strategy that looks at both imports and domestic production, looking at, for example, a shift in, in production patterns. Is it useful to produce wheat in all areas or you know other cereals or is it not perhaps better to focus on say vegetables, perishables and then uh, do the import job via say North America, Latin America or Russia, the Black Sea region which has got um, expansion potential. So there are you know wider opportunities, it's certainly not doom and gloom but what is needed is strategies, strategies which incorporate um, the region, regional actors, the king and also the comparative advantages within the region. So when we talk about you know, production potentials, where are they? Probably where the water is. So for example, there's you know, the, the Levant or um, the Mashra countries can produce more uh, in, in certain areas. They could pr provide vegetables. Other regions such as uh, Saudi Arabia, the Gulf states are probably more importers. At the same time, they are very important when it comes to energy production and certainly solar power. So, it's both. It's, it needs global strategies and regional strategies that um, provide uh, opportunities for the entire region and also uh, obviously um, economic diversification. So moving people out of agriculture and in more industrial uh, sectors in order to provide jobs, opportunities and forex and therefore uh, opportunities to trade. right now is for example Qatar. Qatar is uh, now penalized with uh, food bans, boycotts almost. Um, and this is really you know, a very bad sign. Food shouldn't be part of uh, the political uh, equation in, in all countries. Um, at the same time, the, the, the region could um, invest more in its uh, adaptive investment strategies to say, well, what about investing in a trader? You know, uh, similar to what the Chinese or the Singaporeans are doing, trying to invest in, in trading companies to be present on the world market. There are signs, there are some uh, ideas and uh, initiatives in the Gulf, in the Emirates, but they're very tiny at, at the moment, and so they need to be upscaled. Uh, at the same time, you know, there's always hope. Hope is especially uh, when it comes or in, in, in the field of uh, regional cooperation. There are a number of international organizations such as, such as uh, UNESCO, who are doing great work trying to, to bring governments together, but I think they need to become more effective, they need to become more accepted and then in order to have an impact in, in, in the region and at some point also globally.